Hey, 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 greetings and welcome to another video. Today we're playing Civilization 6, so let's have some fun. But if you close your eyes, Welcome back to our Earth True Start location where we're gonna play as England, where we're actually playing as England already. But in the first episode, last video, we found out that there's gonna be some wars in Europe, to say the least. We've got France over here, Poland over here, who's already fighting Peter, Russia, who's over here. And we just found out that Gorgo from Sparta is over here. And somewhere between all this is Germany, who is our friend, but we still don't know where he is, actually. So this is a bit of an awkward start, but we're gonna see what happens. At least there's going to be some conflict. And let's see what we can do here. Um, we have the fish and the fish and... Are we going to save this builder for the horses? No, let's just get another fish online. Yeah, we're going to sail into the Mediterranean here. We found Carthage. That's our first city-state. And probably Sparta has found them already. No, two unmet players have found Car- Well, what the heck? How come Sparta hasn't found them if they just sailed right past me? Well, fine, we're just gonna invest some points in these guys. I'm not sure, what do they give us? Extra production for units. Extra production for units in encampments, extra production in any encampment. Okay, well, sure. And um, their bonus. Your encampment districts provide plus one trade route. Could be good, but for now it's it's kind of useless. There's probably some better city states, at least bonus wise. Let's just sail in here. Let's see. They have another settler going already. Yeah, this is just going to be one big mayhem. More fish. And let's sail right here. Can we? Oh no, we can't. We'll just do automated then. We have two galleys just automatically uh, scouting, a, uh, scouting around. Sure. Uh, she seems to like us this time. And Germany is complaining about our troops, but I don't even know if they actually have a city settled in there somewhere. Probably they have, but they must have if run there are no dogs in pretty heaven, far. Then when I die, I want to go where they went. So we've got animal husbandry, so we can, um, with our next builder, improve the horses and probably these fish, and maybe at that point the whales, or uh, maybe the sheep even. We don't know where this is uh, gonna grow at that point. For now, it's gonna grow here. Why is it gonna grow here? There's nothing here. Yeah, forest, but nothing useful. Well, just leave it. Um, let's see, what should we do? Should we go for riding or mining? Well, we don't need mining at this point right away. Let's go for riding. Let's just set up a campus, get some better research. And, well, last video I just complained about France just, you know, always hating me in, in the Civ 6, but for the first time in history, She's actually wanting me to be her friend, so let's accept it. She's growing pretty fast. And uh, yeah, we have a barbs problem over there. Let's get out of here. This is gonna be their problem. We don't have to worry about barbs uh, over here, which is really, really nice. Let's see, what should we do? Let's go for a granary. So we can have some uh, some more growth and some more housing. So we can produce some more settlers soon. We could settle over here. But then we have a serious problem with barbs. But it would be a great spot to just settle here. Um, this could be great too with the mountains. Now let's just settle Ireland first. We're gonna settle... We have wheels over here. Let, let's settle this, this tile. It reaches the wheels, it reaches the fish. 
And we'll have a second city that can grow for a while. And she sent us a delegation, well that's nice. She's a... Uh, most of the games uh, Sparta is a real warmonger. But I'm not really worried about them. Yeah, she's accepting too. Well, that's great. Um, I'm not really worried about them because they're far away and uh, we have this entire line of civilizations between us. And France is our friend now, so... Just go. We'll see. We found the city-state. We have found Kumasi. Fine. Uh, I'm probably gonna invest into Kumasi solely for the extra culture. Which is nice. Writing is easy. All you have to do is cross out the wrong words. We got writing, which is a very important step in every city. It was like air conditioning that brought down the Roman Empire. With air conditioning, their windows were shut. They couldn't hear the barbarians coming. So, and we got early empire, uh, which is a prerequisite for, um, I can't remember the name. The one where you get the new governments. Uh, let's do the mining one now, just to get it out of the way. This one is uh, insp inspired right now, so let's just take it. Yeah, things are going easy, actually. It's slow progress, but it's still progress. And we're not being uh, harassed by other civilizations for now. Which might, all, all, of course, happen in the future. And probably will happen very soon, once we're gonna settle these lands. If we're, if we're actually gonna, because France is probably gonna go here right away. Because they don't have any other options. Like, what? What? The, why is this? You were happy with me a few turns ago. What the crap? When you find yourself in a hole, quit digging. Skill without imagination is craftsmanship and gives us many useful objects, such as wickerwork picnic baskets. So let's check our policies. Uh, we've got the, uh, the barbarians, but we don't really f are fighting barbarians right now. Let's go for the naval units extra production. We might pump some more uh, galleys out to scout ahead at some point. Actually no, we're gonna take the melee and uh, ranged because we can then build up some defense and I don't even, I don't know, does that count for scouts? Because we'll need some scouts too to actually go on land and scout ahead. Let's just see, well, we're gonna see this. At least we're gonna get some slingers or archers or whatever. Currency, no, I actually want the harbor. What do we need for the harbor? Astrology. Yeah, well, I, I do want it. it. It's a must-have district for us, so... Let's go for it. And let's see, build a wonder, clear barbarian outpost. Let's just go for political philosophy. That's what it, what it was called. We do want to get a new government. And we're going to settle. Leeds, fine. Um, Leeds is going to build a... Builder, maybe. No, let's just... Let's just start with a monument then. Get some extra culture. Well, uh, he was complaining about me have not having an army. And now he's... Impressed. This game just ke keeps getting weirder and weirder. Oh gosh. This is really, really weird. But let's just roll with it. At least he's positive right now. Let's see, what should we build? Um, we could go for slingers now and defend, but we're going to do archery very soon. So we might hold out for archers and so that we don't have to buy them. Or well, upgrade them, actually. Let's just go for a campus. 
Let's see. We uh, probably this is the best one. Let's just get a campus over there. Okay, then we can buy a, uh, build a harbor. Well, let, let's actually do the pins again. Um, it was worth it. So we could place a harbor over here or over here. Probably do a harbor over here and do a commercial hub over here. And then we might actually have, if we want to build an industrial hub, we could place it over here. Industrial district, sorry, with the mines around. Yeah, that's probably a really good idea. Industrial. That's industrial. That, that's wrong. <laughs> industrial. And let's see. Yeah, that's probably enough planning for now. Let's go. I love the way she speaks, man. It just cracks me up. Um, but this is our first non-European civilization. Which is, which is mind-blowing, to be honest. But, yeah, we have met Egypt. So at least one uh, non... What? She's over here? She has settled... Oh, well, oh wait, yeah, it's not that far. Yeah, it's, it's definitely possible. But with so many European civilizations, this means this is going to be crammed in. All these guys are going to lose uh, progress fighting each other and, and, and stuff. And having no place to settle. And all these civilizations that are not in Europe are gonna have the time of their life, actually. Just having r enough room to settle, having easy ways to just, you know, build up their empires before the Europeans come. This is pretty ahistorical if you look at it that way. <laughs> uh, a trade delegation, yeah, sure, let's take it. And let's see, uh, you just send us one, so let's send one back. Yep, he accepts. Let's send one to... Uh, let's see. Yeah. Are you still at war? No, you're not at war. Let's send you a delegation. Oh, she doesn't want to. She, well, sure. That's fine. Oh, she just pronounced peace. Yeah, announced peace, pronounced... What, what's the word? Doesn't matter. Let's go. Still waiting for that campus. Carthage wants a trade route, so we can get an extra envoy. But I'm thinking it's way better to just create a... Um, maybe we should go to Paris. Krakow, we have done. Sparta, St. Petersburg, St. Petersburg. Let's just go. We could get some faith, though. Let's go to Sparta. Get some faith, get some money. Although St. Petersburg might be... Yeah, St. Petersburg is way safer. Because it, it remains a sea route. And there's not a big chance that there will be a lot of barbarians over here for a long time. So let's just do that. A physician without a knowledge of astrology has no right to call himself a physician. So we have astrology, which is not that important for us right now, but it's the prerequisite for celestial navigation, which we definitely want to get because we want the harbors, the royal dockyard, sorry, um, which give us a lot of money and gold. Uh, that's the same thing. What am I talking about? Which give us a lot of money and trade route capacity, if I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. It will give us uh, trade routes, which is great. And yeah, we're encountering some more barbs, of course. Let's just keep going around. And he wants to renew our friendship. Well, sure. Still don't know where you guys are, but hey. And she denounces me. Why the heck would she denounce me right away? She's looking mean. <laughs> okay, well... Sure. Let's just run. 
our friendship with Germany, yeah, we already renewed that one, so. And Poland is now telling us that we're weak. Yeah, this is sort of the uh, normal situation when you start off a new game. Because they get bonuses and and we definitely haven't um, been focusing on military units, so. Let's just auto explore. And what the heck? Uh, what was the, Oh, we found another city-state. That was the inspiration. Okay, well, fine. So Zanzibar, what does Zanzibar do? Extra gold. Receive the cinnamon and cloves. Cloves? Cloves? Luxury resources. This cannot be earned any other way in the game and provides six immunities each. Wow, that's huge. That is huge. But they are already in, are influenced by an unmet player. Well, at least a city-state where we could invest something in. Although they're very far away. And yeah, she is uh, denounced. Now, well, not denouncing us, but there's a reason for for her not to like us. Of course, it's France. It's me and France. Every single game. It is equally important to have a happy and engaged workforce as it is to have a profitable bottom line. Let's get the unit maintenance down for now. Well, that's it for today. Feel free to comment and leave a like if you've enjoyed the video. Also, subscribe if you haven't and check out my Twitter and Facebook pages. The links are down in the description. It really helps me out a lot when you guys do that. If you want to support me, then please check out my Patreon page. It's also down there. You can get some cool rewards for helping me out, like sneak peeks and a vote in future projects. As always, I've been Hipbone, you've been yourself, thanks for being awesome. Thanks for watching.